So, um, this video is actually going to be kind of a big one for me. I mean, spoiler alert, my low is the fact that on the surface nothing really happened. And that's true. Nothing of great significance, well, exactly one thing of significance did happen. But my low is, more importantly, the sort of, you know what, for once I feel like, I can admit I'm feeling mixed emotions. And I hate the prospect of mixed emotions because, you know, you associate one feeling of a particular event with another feeling. That's probably the exact opposite of it. Much like the case I'm about to explain today. But again, that's also part of my high as well. Especially when you start to consider the fact that tonight, you know, we have the Mass Singer. Which, I'll get to that in a minute. And my act of kindness was yesterday that I took the garbage out for my parents. So... Last night for dinner, my mom made mac and cheese. I mean, I've talked about my mom making mac and cheese many times in my videos. i posted my mom's mac and cheese many times on social media. It's not necessarily anything new. Well, actually, a few things new. Uh, one thing. Does, has anyone even heard of a pasta shape simply called rings? Because that was the pasta shape that my mom used to make mac and cheese. I'm not going to complain. It was mom's mac and cheese. It's awesome. It was great. Loved it. But having it and then posting on social media made me both really happy and made me sad. Hence the mixed emotions I just talked about. See, on the one hand, it's sad. Yeah, I'll do the negative emotion first and then I'll talk about why that's a good... I'll talk about why I'm happy. I'd rather, I'd rather hear the bad news first than the good news, if that makes sense. So, this could very well be the last time my mom makes her mac and cheese until it starts getting cold out again. Like, consistently cold, like fall and the winter months. I mean, I'm literally less than two weeks away from going back to Cuba Lake. Like, it's about time we get, it's about time I get ready for it. And it's sad because these last four months, even just these last couple weeks, have been leading up to my best year ever. And having a dinner like mac and cheese at this time really does feel like a bit of a send off to that. As it does kind of create that sort of, is that the best it's ever going to be? Because, you know, you can't predict the future. You don't know. And keep in mind, this was January, February, March, and April. Those are four months of the year where you normally associate with, like, depression cold, crazy, bad weather, you know, getting sick sometimes. Oh, actually, I should say that really only applies to here in, like, America and the Western Hemisphere. If you're, like, down in Australia or whatever, it's actually, uh, it was actually quite nice because winter here is summer there. Anyway, um... So in a time of year that's normally not very good, this is already shaping up to be my best year ever. I mean, it really is due in large part because I finally have decided to take matters in my own hands and gone out and do things. Like I go out, see people. Some people I haven't seen in years. I did that on my own. And for many years, I never really thought I could, but I did. And considering that a year ago, I was suffering through the worst heartbreak ever, 
I really do feel as if I've come pretty darn far. Not to brag. In fact, I could totally be wrong in saying that. But how I feel now compared to how I feel a year ago is practically night and day. And so it's for that very reason why, though I am sad, by the way, I'm not crying right now. I really just have an issue right now. Anyway, um, I mentioned that I am sad, but it's also for those very reasons why I'm happy. I mean, the one thing I haven't, the one thing I did kind of allude to that, you know, I did mention the other day, I'm finally beginning to love myself. And this was during the winter. Seriously. Like, the one time of year where you would never think you'd feel that good in that way. But I did. And that's all because of what I've done. And don't get me, I mean, admittedly, I always thought that I kind of had to have someone around me to do it. You know, my mom or dad or some family member, even a friend, maybe. And don't get me wrong, friends and family in life are extremely important. I will always advocate for having friends and family in your life, absolutely. But sometimes you need to just take matters into your own hands. You got to be the one to do it. And that's what I've done. I mean, if any of you are, if anyone who I actually have met over the last several weeks is watching, thank you. You really have contributed to making this my best year ever. So thank you. But now it really is about time that I move on and look forward to what's coming up next. I mean, Mother's Day is this weekend. I'm going to the Homestead Blessings event in Corny on Saturday. Just in the coming days alone, there's a lot to look forward to. And I'm, I couldn't be more excited about that. I've got the lake in just less than two weeks from now. I'm, getting, I'm coming up on day 2000 on making videos. And you know, you got the summer months, 4th of July, some birthdays that are happening in August. The list goes on and on. And as happy as I am, I'm also, actually, you know what? B before I continue on that, another thing, The mass Singer, which I definitely need to stress one thing, because I did want to talk about The mass Singer for a little bit. And that is, I mean, it's the semifinals tonight. It's the California Roll, the Macaw, and Medusa. And if you've been watching me for any given time during this season, you know I've been advocating for the Medusa to win it all. I think she can do it. I mean, it's a semifinal, so one of them is going to be eliminated tonight. I mean, they've been advertising and a twist you didn't see coming. Well, that really could mean a lot of things. In fact, it really could very well mean the Medusa is going to lose. It really could. But we don't know. And we're not going to know until after 9 o'clock tonight when everything's all said and done. And whatever it is, you better believe I'll be here tomorrow morning talking about that. So, um, needless to say, go Medusa. Now back to, now back to our regularly scheduled program. I believe I was talking about what's coming up and what I have to look forward to. And I do. You know, Mother's Day is coming up, which, you know what? I've said this before and I'll say it again. If International Women's Day wasn't already a thing, I would consider Mother's Day International Women's Day. It's true. It's true. Don't, don't you dare at me on that one, please. But again, that's just me. You know, I have lots, I mean, obviously I have a mom and a grandma and my sister-in-law who's also a mom and a whole bunch of friends who are also moms. 
and dog moms. You know who you are. Um, I have a godmother as well, who we actually just wished her a happy birthday a couple of days ago. Which, interestingly enough, her daughter, my cousin, her birthday is today. Happy birthday, cousin. Happy birthday, cousin. Uh, so, with everything I have to look forward to, there's something I'm actually quite nervous about. If you can believe it. I mean, you're probably like, Nick, what do you have to be so nervous about? Well, believe it or not, I feel as if I have come far from a year ago. Actually, it'd be a year and about four months. And with everything that's been going good in my way, all the matters in my own hands that I've been taking, even to the point where I've even admitted now, I'm beginning to finally love myself, which is a concept I never thought I'd ever say. And maybe I am kind of counting my chickens before they hatch, but you know what? I mean, I was gonna say everything happens for a reason, but then again, I am a fan of Patton Oswalt, where I believe his late wife, rest her soul, said, everything's chaos, be kind. I both agree and disagree with that, but definitely the be kind part, well, the be kind part, I was always gonna do anyway, so, not that, um, not that, uh, I wouldn't, but, you know, in case anyone ever thought I was never gonna be kind, I will be. So, there's something I really want to do. Something I really, really want to do. Something that only one time have I ever been successful at. And I attribute being successful at one time to an insane amount of luck and the fact that the person involved with the thing that I would like to do just so happened to be a saint. Yes, this is the first time I think I've ever actually felt that good that I'm going to do that. And I really am nervous. Probably the most nervous I've been in a long time. Because I really have come far from a year ago. And I would hate to just come this far only to feel horrible again. But then again, and you know what? I couldn't help but be quoting God of War Ragnarok here, where Kratos asks Atreus, does it scare you? And then Atreus says, yes. And then Kratos says, that is why you must do it. And that's exactly what this is. For once in my life, I really feel as if I'm ready to do this. I really feel as if I have a sense of worth now. For the first time probably ever in my life I feel this way. And it scares me a little. Not just a little, a whole lot. But if it didn't, then I wouldn't be ready to do it. Yeah. I feel that way. So, 
Mother's Day weekend's coming up. And with everything I just said and alluded to, I do believe it's about time to have 2023 from being a good year to becoming a great one. But again, it's all on me. I'm nervous, but if that wasn't the case, then I wouldn't be ready to do it. And all because my mom made mac and cheese. Isn't that something? I guess in a way my mom is kind of looking out for me on that front. Wouldn't be the craziest thing she's ever done. But it's certainly one of the greatest things she's ever done. Yeah, for all the stuff I rag on my mom about, even I have to admit, she's been there for me a lot. And my whole life, for all the arguments we ever had, all the times we disagreed, even the times where for months on end we wouldn't speak to each other. She always believed I had a lot more to offer. And for the first time, I'm feeling that way. Now all I have to do is go ahead and ask her. I hope y'all like this video. If you didn't like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on social media. As always, I am very humble in this video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy your name. We have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I forgot to say it's Happy Hump Day. You know, Happy Hump Day, everybody. But I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk to me, I'm always here to let me know. I'll be back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.